Anyway, hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, I'm not looking at the camera because I'm kind of distracted by bugs right now. There's a bug down there. I'm just waiting for him to land. Okay, he's not landing. Anyway, um, uh, today I'm just like going around, taking photos, you know, showing you my thought process. We got the first bug. I don't know what it's called. It's, um, I've seen them before there. They're like orange, red sort of beetles. It's in a bit of a awkward spot though. Where is he at? I think they're soldier beetles, if I'm right, I don't know. If anyone knows, leave a comment. The sun is kind of annoying right now. Yeah, it's a bit messy when it's in the grass. Like, it's hard to get a clean shot, but for this, oh, okay. It's just drops deep into the grass now, so <laughs> it's gone. There's usually stuff in buttercups. I think there's some little beetles. There's always these little beetles in buttercups. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty, pretty common anyway. Get a photograph just for the sake of it. I usually kind of hold the plant or flower the bug is on. That helps me kind of stabilize the shot and then get a more accurate shot in focus. That'll do for the beetle, I think. There's a weird dead aphid there, but I'll get a quick photo. I don't think I'll get any more than one. Dead aphid. I'm pretty sure parasitic wasps are what kill aphids or sawflies, I'm not sure. Log. <laughs> what the hell was that? It's a puddle. Oh. I thought you got something in your mouth. If you had a bug in your mouth, I would have had to like come and get it. Yeah. Where is it? God, why is it so I'm having trouble focusing today. I can't even find the bugs. Oh, hold on a sec. Let me just... What the... Where is it? I can't see. Oh, that's why. I didn't realise I was on... Bloody... There we go. I forgot I had that mode on. <laughs> oh, it's so windy. Wind! I should probably... The wind is my worst enemy, you know. I'm gonna have to try and like hold the plant. I've got a quick picture there, but I want a better one. Let's hope it don't fly away. Oh, okay, it's flew away. <laughs> I think there's a watermelon spider there. Or a cucumber spider, I don't know what which name here it has. Yeah, it is. The annoying thing about these is that they always they're always upside down. Not always, but a lot of the time. So it's hard to get a picture of like their eyes and stuff. I'll try and hold this. And then sort of get my camera in there. It's, it's so hard to see with the sun glaring at the screen. Should probably use the viewfinder. There he is. The wind is blowing this little spider everywhere. Okay, now he's moved around a little bit. Okay, now I can't even get a picture of his eyes because he's turned a little bit, so. All right, so I've just found a black and yellow ladybird. I don't really find ladybirds often. I don't know why, but I don't know what color to use. Um, I'm gonna go just for trusty blue and I'll just place it right there. And I'm just gonna grab this thorny plant with my fingers. <laughs> Make sure my flash is good. We kneel down for more stability. I think that's his face, or is it his bum? I don't know. It's always hard to tell which side is the right side. Yeah, that's his face. I 
Oh my god, there's an aphid on it as well. An aphid just crawled over it. I don't know if I got a picture of that. I'm gonna try and get a focus stack now. Of course, as soon as I go for a focus stack, he starts squirming about. The aphid's back as well. I was shooting that at F9, 1 over 250, which is the highest shooter speed I can get before with the um, sync flash, the flash sync. And then ISO 200, because I'm quite magnified, I'm at like one to one with a Raynox 250, which is giving me more magnification. Oh, it wasn't too wet, it wasn't too wet. Just slightly damp. All right, let's see what's, there's probably nothing over here. I'm not really seeing anything. Oh my God, it's really wet there. Well, that was quite underwhelming. Just found a click beetle. I think I'll go for the green. I don't really use the green. But on my photos, it always comes up kind of, um, sort of like teal. I think it's because of the flash hitting it. They're called a click beetle because they, when they jump, it sounds like a click. And hopefully this one doesn't jump because I want to get a photo of it. And a lot of the time when I'm adjusting my settings, I usually just adjust the ISO. And that's pretty much it. I might change the aperture depending on my magnification. But other than that, I don't really change it. it. Might be easier shooting it from this way, actually. It's awkward bending around that way. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's called a click beetle. It just clicked when it jumped in the air and it scared the hell out of me. Um, I don't know where that's gone now. All right, so here we have, I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, I know it's a spider. It might, I think it might be a crab, no, I don't think it's a, it might be a crab spider. Yeah, I get my camera in here and it's just running away. Where's it going? It's going down here now. I'm struggling to get a good composition because it's just facing away from the camera, but I'm trying my best. Oh, so it is a crab spider, now in its face. Okay, I managed to get one shot very close up, one-to-one -one magnification with the Rain-Ux on. Um, and as soon as the flash fired, it kind of started running, so... The only problem I have with these diffusers, um, it's hard to get in spots like this. All right, so here, I do not know what this is exactly. It looks like some sort of aphid or mite. It's quite small. Just trying to shade it. The reason I don't like sunlight on my insects is because it creates very harsh, harsh refractions and reflections on the insects and the whole point of this is to create soft light, soft shadows. It's actually got like little eyes, it's quite cute, you know. It's like a little pillar, a little walking pillar. Just waddling around, it's quite slow. First time I've ever photographed one of these. I'm just gonna roll this log over and see what is underneath. Okay, it's a bit heavier than I thought. Oh, look at that. Oh, was a millipede. I got lucky once, I rolled over a log and I found a millipede and it was just dead still. I'm gonna get a picture of that woodlouse, I think. That was quite easy to focus stack there because I just rested my camera on the log, did the automated focus stacking mode. Although it is automated, I still have to stack it manually in um, post-processing. Some really cool, I don't usually photograph mold or mushrooms, but there's some really cool like mold here. Get a photo of that. That should be easy to get a photo of because it's not living. I mean, it's not moving. It's not a bug. I'm gonna try and get one more on top.
actual. All right, I'm going to roll the log back over now. When I'm not using the focus stacking mode, what I do is get steady, steady as I can, and rock back and forth, back and forth. It's looking quite bright. Yeah, so uh, that's it for today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you'd like to see more content like this where I kind of just film my process of me taking photos of bugs, um, yeah, let me know. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, you know, share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, shout out to the cameraman. Thank you. <laughs>